In a startling turn of events, the president of Botswana has issued a shocking ultimatum, threatening to send the staggering 20,000 elephants to Germany. You have never had anything like this, right? Well, this has nothing to do with starting a third world war. No, the threat is as a result of a heated conservation dispute between Botswana and Germany. Earlier this year, Germany's environment ministry proposed stricter limits on importing hunting trophies, especially from Botswana. But President Mogwetsi Masisi of Botswana could not have any of it and he lashed out in defense of his country's wildlife. He asserted that the elephant population in Botswana has surged due to conservation efforts, which is good news. But there's more explosive declarations from President Masisi. He told the Germans that hunting serves as a crucial means of elephant population control. Finally, he challenged Germany to live together with the animals and see what a difference it will make to their cities. I guess the German parliament, the Bundestag, will not swap their beautiful cities from elephant-infested forests. Never. Now, on a more serious note, why is Germany at the center of the controversy instead of other European nations or the European Union? What is the population of elephants in Botswana? And what are the economic impacts? Above all, how do you live and manage a huge population of elephants without hunting? I'm not suggesting that that's the solution, but it's just a question that we're exploring here. These are real challenges that not only Botswana, but conservation experts would need to help find answers. Before we dig into the rest of this exciting journey, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to help us bring you more videos like this. Now, Botswana is home to a significant portion of the world's elephant population. The country now finds itself grappling with heads wreaking havoc on local communities. And in a bizarre twist, Botswana's wildlife minister even threatened to dispatch another 10,000 elephants to London's Hyde Park, which have shocked British citizens. According to reports, Botswana now has the largest elephant population in Africa, with an estimated 132,000 elephants. That's huge. This makes Botswana home to the largest elephant population of any African country. The elephant population in Botswana is stable and may even be increasing in some areas. And this is due to factors like tight protection and relative difficulty in assessing wildlife areas in Botswana. While there have been some incidents of poaching in the past, the government has set up a military task force to combat poaching, which has helped protect the large elephant population. Botswana's elephant population is so large that it is difficult to actually determine the exact numbers as the herds freely move across into neighboring countries like Namibia and Zimbabwe. However, it is clear that Botswana has by far the largest elephant population on the African continent. This has led to tensions between people and elephants in the region. And who will settle the problem? The large elephant population in Botswana has increased conflicts with local human populations as the animals can destroy crops and even trample and kill people. With concerns about children's safety, making parents afraid to let their children walk to and from school in areas with high elephant populations due to the risk of encountering the animals. People are also hesitant to seek medical services at clinics in areas with many elephants for fear of encountering the animals on the way. 
With the increased human-elephant conflict, the government now took measures, including lifting a hunting ban in 2019. And in a startling revelation, Botswana even contemplated utilizing elephants for pet food. Talk of dogs eating elephants and cats consuming elephants. What an irony. So, why is Germany at the center of the storm? With the debate ranging on the morality of trophy hunting and clash between conservation and animal rights advocates, which has intensified, it's now left the fate of Botswana's elephants hanging in the balance. Surprisingly, Germany emerges as the European Union's primary destination for African elephant trophies, as revealed in a 2021 report by the Humane Society International. That's German involvement. Hence, the German Environment Ministry has been in discussion with the European Union about potentially imposing stricter import restrictions on hunting trophies, in part due to concerns over poaching. And they have attacked Botswana for lifting the 2014 ban on trophy hunting in 2019 under pressure from local communities. They argue that Botswana's annual hunting quotas are not good enough. Notably, several nations like Australia, France, and Belgium have already prohibited the trade in hunting trophies. Meanwhile, Botswana itself, alongside Zimbabwe and Namibia, are advocating for ivory cells to capitalize on their elephant population, a move vehemently opposed by the East African countries and animal rights activists, citing increased poaching risks. Now, let's turn to the area of global population of elephants and is estimated to be around 450,000 elephants, with the majority, around 415,000, being African elephants, and the remainder, 40,000 to 50,000, being Asian elephants. With about 130,000 of the African elephants found in Botswana alone, Botswana has a new sickness called elephant overpopulation. As we wrap up this eye-opening journey, some questions linger. Will London's Hyde Park turn into an elephant sanctuary? Will Germany have a change of heart? In a world grappling with conservation dilemmas, one must ask, what is the future of Botswana's majestic creatures? Are stricter regulations the solution, or does Botswana's approach hold the key to sustainable coexistence? As the debate rages on, one thing is clear the faith of Botswana's elephants hangs in the balance. So join the conversation. What's your take on this pressing conservation issue? Let's keep the dialogue going. Stay tuned for more uproarious updates. You never know what's next in the wacky world of wildlife politics. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking incense.